All right, I'm gonna make a video how to sh show you guys how to make a bench seat for your backyard. I got a couple of these around my fire pit. This one's eight foot long. Simple design. Two by ten for the backrest. A couple two by eights for your seat. Four by four post. That goes in the ground about three feet. No concrete necessary. Just sitting on it anyways. Doesn't really hold any weight. But uh, very basic design. This eight footer here costs about 75 bucks. I'm sure there's a um, better way to build this. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm just showing you guys design on a bench seat that uh, I didn't invent, but I did modify over the years and uh, this is working really well for me I built dozens of them and uh, nice little gift 75 bucks a piece you can build a pair for 150 take them up north put them in the ground and get rid of your folding camp chairs that uh, take up so much space in your shed so I will show you my uh, pattern here in a second and uh, give you some measurements and some angles piece of cake okay here's my pattern I made years ago for my um, my bench seats I'll uh, try to make this as brief as I can but um, 40 degree angle 15, 20 inches from long point to long point. This uh, support for the bench seat. 35 degree angle on the bottom. 19 and a quarter from long point to long point. That actually, will, that piece there will be a 4x4. Four and it'll be cut off this big one here this vertical it goes in the ground so I use an 8 foot 4x4 four four. cut that 19 and a quarter off the ba uh, bottom side of it and then the scrap left over I use uh, to build the backrest seat got a two by eight goes from here to here and then one comes over here hangs over about a half inch that's my seat I like to pick out some uh, as clear as womanized as I can obviously for uh, you don't have to sit and sap but uh, if you dig through Lowe's Home Depot Menards you'll find some uh, decent pieces and then the back, there's my 2 by 10 I come up about uh, from this mark here to this mark here is about, well, I measured it up, 7 half inches. So I got about 6 inches of space here between the top of my seat and my 2 by 10 on the back. My 2x10 will actually be about a half inch above my 4x4 four four post. So, I hope these numbers all make sense to everybody. I'll just uh, run them through one more time. And pause it. Write it down. But yeah, here's my ground down here from this point to here. 16 and a half. Once you put your 2 by 8 on, 18 inches at the top of my seat. If you want it shorter, bury it in the ground further. You want it taller, pull it up. 
easy design. Hope this all makes sense. Okay, materials to build those two bench seats. I'm going to build two six-footers, so I bought some 12-foot stock. Two 12-foot 2x8s cut in half. There's four pieces, obviously two for each seat. 2 by 10 by 10 foot, or I'm sorry, 12 foot, cut in half. There's my two backs. Four 4 by 4s, 8 footers, two 2 by 4s, 8 footers. Five sixteenths by eight inch carriage bolt, zinc coated. They're about a buck a piece. You need uh, six for each seat, so you need a dozen of them, plus nuts, washers, lock washers, and some miscellaneous screws. So I'll show you everything cut up, corners cut, everything routered, and then I'll show you the assembly. Hundred and twenty-five bucks for two uh, seats here. That's including the carriage bolts.